actually, I was interested in architect. Nothing to do with biology initially. Because I was so fascinated about how three-dimensional structure is being actually constructed. So I knew that I was going to be architect. I mean, not the biologist. So one time, I found there is architecture in biology. Structure of the protein, structure of the DNA, structural machinery. So at that point, I knew that I'm going to study this field. That's how I became to so-called structural biologist. The field that I'm working on, chromatin biology, is kind of nowadays a target of all the, the cancer research because there's an indication that in cancer, believed to be some genetic disease somehow, now it's kind of epigenetic disease. But since epigenetic field is a recent field, not much of investigation has been done for linkage between disease. There's a huge mystery how these cells know who they are, how they maintain their identity, how this gene expression is regulated. So my major research interest is that to investigate it, molecular machinery involved in epigenetic gene regulation. Structural biology is the one of the tools to investigate some biological phenomena. But I don't want it to be kind of a one-handed person. I wanted to be double-edged for kind of sword, sword. So I decided to learn a lot of biochemistry and cell biology. Now actually I'm bringing all together to investigate chromatin biology in KAIST as well. So I'm kind of setting up a structural biology platform in here as well as biochemistry and cell biology. I mean, the acquiring this bio imaging machinery is the one of the part of this expanding my research area. For example, I was investigating mainly the structure aspect of the protein machinery involved in chromatin modification. Now I can actually see how this machinery functions by utilizing this chemida. For example, I can use uh, this nucleosome as a substrate. I can label in three different colors, then do experiment, then quantify uh, uh, how this machinery moves around this nucleosome structure. So that actually biochemical information that I would obtain from this chemida actually reinforced my structure work to consolidate my the science. If I make a list why I like this chemida, is that first of all, it's easy to use. You can walk to the, the chemida, then okay. software will tell everything. You don't need any training, basically. Even quantification. You don't need any sophisticated way to get your quantified data. The second thing is the sensitivity. I believe that sensitivity is compatible to X-ray film. One of the great advantages of this machine is that, that we can use multicolor uh, labeling. So we can label even one color, two color, even three color. Then we can monitor how this, the, uh, the chromatin being modified in real time. Structural biology, biochemistry, cell biology is just a tool to investigate it, to answer the biological question. By purchasing this chemidog, I think now I can expand my the tool from structure into the biochemistry and cell biology that will answer interesting biological questions. Mm -hmm.